Hey guys, so today I have a kind of a get ready with me video for this look right here. I wanted to do to go kind of a 90s theme, kind of like a 90s grungy theme for my next look in my fall series. So this is a kind of, I am getting ready for work so I tried to keep it relatively wearable. It is also, it is a dark look, but it is a wearable dark look. So I wanted to add a couple more wearable everyday sort of looks into my fall series so this is one that I came up with kind of grungy dead girl glam so if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep watching so first for <clears throat> oh my gosh I have a frog in my throat so first foundation I'm going to be using this sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation the new one that's in the really really cool packaging this stuff is amazing I've had this sample for so long, like absolutely so long, that I put on way too much. Like this stuff spreads and covers so well and lasts all day. It's it's absolutely amazing, you guys. I definitely need to save up and buy it because it's so good. The only thing that I did notice is this does oxidize. I got the exact same color because they have the same color system, or they use the same color system that they do for urban or for naked skin and this does oxidize but it's also like this color is lighter than my like 1.0 in the naked skin so I think I'm going to switch and use my beauty sponge um, I think that they maybe accounted for the fact that it oxidizes and lightened the foundations a little bit to counteract that because this is definitely lighter to start out with than my naked skin than the color that I have in my naked skin. Does that make sense? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> it's an amazing foundation. Full coverage, doesn't feel cakey. It's bomb. Then I'm going to highlight and conceal and prime my lids with my NYX HD concealer. And right now I'm using the shade 02. Okay, then I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie to set my under eyes. I'm going to mix these two shades from my NYX contour palette. I'm going to be mostly using this like cream one with just a little bit of the yellow. And if you're one of those people that doesn't always love to set their foundation with powder, with this foundation you definitely don't have to set it with powder. But for my oily skin, I definitely always set my foundation with powder, so I'm going to do that with my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It. Okay, and then I'm going to go fill in my eyebrows really quick with my Anastasia Brow Definer, wherever I can, if I can find it, and we'll be right back. Okay, brows are done, so let's move on to eyes. So this is the color scheme we have going. These are all Makeup Geek shades. Um, these right here are all some of their new ones. I'm really, really excited to use them, especially some of the new foils that come that came out. Oh my god, obsessed. So first I'm just going to take this kind of, it's a cool tone, but kind of yet yeah, rosy tone light beige. Um, this one's called Bandwagon. So I'm just going to take that on my Morphe M504, just a fluffy crease brush, and we're just going to pop this in our crease for our transition shade. <clears throat> this is going to be pretty messy and kind of like blown out, so you don't have to be, you don't have to worry about being super precise, especially for like the transition shade. And then Pretty much every color we put on our lid, we're going to also put on our lower lash line. And we will be using smaller brushes for the lower lash line, but I just like slapping, you know, the the like transition color on with a big brush. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade, which is like my favorite right now. This one is called Wild West, and it's a really, really pretty rosy brown. I'm going to take that on a Morphe E22, and we are just going to pop this right on that outer corner. And then start blending it into the crease. And we're going to heavily apply it in the crease as well. So I'm literally just patting my brush right in the outer corner, and then I'll start to wiggle, and then start to like full on windshield wiper motions back and forth. 
Then I'm going to take a little bit of this cool tone shade right here. This is called Brownie Points, which I think isn't as new. Yeah, um, and I'm just going to place that right on top of that outer corner as well. And this one I am bringing into the crease, but I'm not bringing it as heavily into the crease as um, Wild West. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same color, Brownie Points, and we're going to really build this up on our lower lash line. This is the part you can skip if you don't want it as dramatic or as dark, but y'all know, y'all know how I like my lower lash lines. Yes. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. I'm going to use this Furless PE2 brush. This is what it looks like. So it's just kind of a dense, like, little dome brush. And I'm just going to more precisely put brownie points on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use the brush that we used for Wild West, this kind of rosy brown. I'm not taking any additional product, but I'm just blending that shade down with this one. And then this is a Wet n Wild blending brush and I'm going to take, I think this is called Americano. Yes, Americano by Makeup Geek. It's just a slightly warm but relatively neutral deep brown. And I'm just going to apply this in the crease just to give a little bit of darkness. As if it's not dark already. But a little bit of depth. So I'm just placing it right in the crease and going back and forth. I'm also going to drag this from my lower lash line to basically my the tail of my brow just to kind of encircle the whole look. Okay, now we definitely need some sort of brightness in all of this smokiness. So I'm going to pop in to my Kat Von D palette. <clears throat> and I'm going to take one of the whites from it because this is like my favorite white ever. So, just take whatever is your favorite white. I'm using a matte one, but you guys could totally use a shimmery brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Since this look is so kind of like messy and smudgy and just kind of blown out, adding this little bit of lightness in certain places can really give it more of a little bit of a polished look. Even though it's not polished, but you know what I mean. It can clean it up a little bit. And then I'm just taking this just super lightly on <clears throat> just a little bit of my lid. Not going all over the lid, but pretty much anywhere that doesn't have eyeshadow on it on my lid is getting a little pop of white. And then always go back with your blending brush and blend the brow bone shade and I like to blend on top of the uh, lid shade as well. And then I am going to apply a little black blit? What? A little bit of black eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek small crease brush and I'm just going to preload my brush with a little bit of I think America like these two mixed together. Oh wow, you can see me forever. Um, <laughs> a little bit of Americano and brownie points together. So I'm just going to take a little bit of each. And I'm going to apply the eyeliner and then smudge it down with those colors on that pencil brush. If that makes sense. Then I'm going to go back with the color or with the brush that we used for Wild West and blend it down farther. Then just repeat the process on your other eye. Okay, so that's it for eyes. I'm just going to apply mascara at the very end. So let's move on to face. So this is going to be relatively simple. First, I'm just going to take the coolest tone from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette on my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. And I'm just going to contour with this shade. 
Normally, I would use my Makeup Geek Cool Porcelain Contour, but this shade is a little bit better to use by itself if you don't want to also apply bronzer. Just because it's not as, like, straight cool toned, it has a little bit more warmth to it, so... I don't want to apply bronzer or anything, so I'm just going to pretty heavily apply this as my bronzer and contour. But since we're going for that 90s kind of dead girl glam, the cool tone works a little bit better. And just a little bit down the sides of my nose. Okay, and then I am going to apply a little bit of blush. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in Rapture. Is that what it's called? Yes. So I'm going to take that on my Eco Tools fan brush. I've been loving blush for this, or this for blush. So I'm just going to take a little bit, and I'm going to concentrate it towards the back of my cheek. So I'm just going to apply a little right to the back. And it feels like a sin, but I'm going to do matte skin today. We have all matte eyes. I'm going to do matte skin and yeah, so I'm just going to set my face down a little bit with my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. And then I'm going to go finish getting ready, so get dressed and do my hair and put on mascara, and then we'll come back for the lips. So yeah, okay, be right back. Okay guys, so for the last touch, I'm just going to apply my lippy. This is the, this is a new Milani liquid lipstick. This is one of their like fall collections, and this is in the shade 03 Honey. I found mine at Fred Meyer, and they're the same price. They're actually buy one, get one half off. Um, but I've been loving this color. It reminds me of Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star, but like darker and kind of a little bit more rosy. <clears throat> it actually reminds me of the Wild Wild West, or the Wild West eyeshadow just like in a lipstick form. It's great. Okay guys, and this is the completed look. I absolutely love how this turned out. This is actually like how I've been doing my makeup for like school and work for about the past few days. So I've been wanting to do a tutorial on it. Again, if you aren't, if you don't want to go as dramatic, you of course don't have to, but hashtag dead girl glam, gotta go all out with the darkness, you know? Okay, anyways you guys, this is this is the look. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave me comments for ideas for looks for my fall series. What color schemes? Should I do glitter? Should I do, like, just what? Give me, give me ideas. Anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!